If you want a slideshow to run independently without any user input, you can add timings to the slides. This allows the presentation to know when to move on to the next slide. This is called rehearsing. And we access the feature by clicking on the slideshow menu and drop down to rehearse timings. I'll just press the pause button there. What happens is the presentation starts running and as you click through the presentation, this little toolbar monitors exactly when you click so that it knows how long you have taken on each slide. So you go through the presentation going at the normal speed that you would want the viewers to be able to see the presentation. I'm going to click through it very quickly just to show you how the effect works. So I shall take it off pause and then just start clicking through the presentation very quickly. Obviously this is far too fast if you're going to deliver it. But I just want to get to the end. Obviously we could take time on some of the slides and it would monitor that. When we get to the end, we get a menu that says, sorry, not a menu, a dialog box that says, do we want to use these timings? Yes, I'm quite happy with how fast I went through that, so we say yes. You can see there that what has happened is um, a timing has been applied to every slide. And also, if we look across at slide transitions, we can see the timing is there. We can see the timings down here on slide transitions. Basically, you've just added transitions to the slides with timings associated with those transitions. So you could do this manually. Um, but this is just an automated way to, to speed things up for you. So it can advance the slides automatically after 2.2 seconds. That's the timing that we took uh, when we went through the actual presentation. Notice that we've still clicked the advanced slide on mouse click. This allows the user, whoever's watching this presentation, to override the timings simply by clicking the mouse. If you don't want this to happen, remove the tick. And then the presentation will just run on those timings. So I'll run the show and see what happens. And I'm not clicking any mouse buttons now. <coughs> Excuse me. And the presentation starts clicking through by itself um, using the timings that we rehearsed through the presentation. Obviously, that's very quick for a presentation. I took a little bit of extra time on that slide. And then we motored through to the end again. Then we get to the end of the presentation. Back in, back in slide sort of view, you can see that if we wanted to adjust the timings, then we can just alter the numbers in this box here. And if we want to remove the timings altogether, then we can just take the tick out. And if we want to remove timings from the whole presentation, just apply that to all the slides or the master if you've put your timings on the master. So that's how we can add timings onto the slideshow that it will automatically run. But while we're doing that, there's a few settings that we can use. If we go into slideshow setup show, there's a whole range of options here. And I'm just going to point out two or three. Firstly, we can make the presentation loop continuously um, until the escape key is pressed. This means that the presentation will go through. When it gets to the end, it will automatically go back through to the beginning. We can get the presentation to work without any animation. So it will just show the slide with no slight transitions um, and no animation on the screen at all. We can get the slideshow to only advance manually. So you can only use mouse clicks or spacebar to move the presentation forward. Or we can get to use those timings if the timings are already present on the slide. There's a few settings there. There's other ones as well. I'll let you have a little look around them. But those are the only ones that are actually in the syllabus. So that is setting up timings using slideshow, rehearse timings to allow your presentations to run automatically.